Ever wondered about the side effects of amlodipine and how to counteract them? Amlodipine, a familiar name in the world of hypertension and heart conditions, is often prescribed to those battling these health issues. But like all medications, it doesn't come without its share of side effects. What are they? How do they impact your day-to-day -day life? And most importantly, how can you manage them effectively? These are the intriguing questions we're setting out to answer. Let's delve into the mystery of amlodipine side effects. Amlodipine, while beneficial, can have side effects that may be concerning. This statement holds true for most medications, and amlodipine is no exception. Amlodipine, a type of calcium channel blocker, is often prescribed to treat high blood pressure and prevent chest pain. But like any other medication, it comes with its set of side effects. Common ones include swelling, typically in the hands or ankles. This occurs because amlodipine can cause fluid to build up in your body. It's not necessarily harmful, but can be uncomfortable and alarming. Next, we have dizziness. This happens because amlodipine lowers your blood pressure and your body might need some time to adjust to this change. It's a sensation that can catch you off guard, especially when standing up quickly. Fatigue is another common side effect. When amlodipine lowers your blood pressure, your heart doesn't have to work as hard, and this might make you feel tired. It's a side effect that can affect your day-to-day -day life, but it's important to remember that it's a sign that the medication is doing its job. Now let's talk about the less common but serious side effects. These include a rapid heartbeat, also known as tachycardia, and chest pain. When amlodipine blocks the calcium channels in your heart, it slows the rate at which your heart contracts. This can sometimes cause your heart to beat too quickly, leading to tachycardia. Chest pain, on the other hand, is a bit more complicated. Amlodipine is used to prevent chest pain, so if you're experiencing this side effect, it's essential to seek medical attention. It could be a sign that the medication isn't working effectively, or it could signal a more serious problem like a heart attack. These side effects occur due to how amlodipine works in your body. By understanding these side effects and their causes, you can better manage them and communicate with your healthcare provider about any concerns. Understanding these side effects is the first step in managing them. So, keep in mind that while amlodipine can have side effects, they're usually a sign that the medication is working. And the better you understand them, the better equipped you'll be to handle them. Our bodies react differently to medications, and amlodipine is no exception. When we ingest amlodipine, it gets absorbed into our bloodstream, seeking to accomplish its mission of relaxing our blood vessels, thus reducing blood pressure. Yet, how our bodies respond to this antihypertensive medication is a unique process, largely influenced by individual factors. Let's delve into this a little deeper. Age is one of the key factors that influence our body's reaction to amlodipine. As we age, our bodies tend to metabolize drugs at a slower rate. This could potentially increase the concentration of amlodipine in the blood, leading to a heightened risk of side effects. So if you're an older adult, you might experience the side effects of amlodipine more intensely than a younger person. Health status is another significant parameter. People with liver conditions may have difficulty metabolizing amlodipine, leading to higher levels of the drug in the bloodstream. This, in turn, can exacerbate the side effects. Similarly, individuals with heart disease or low blood pressure may also experience amplified side effects due to their pre-existing conditions. Lastly, other medications can also sway the side effects of amlodipine. When combined with certain drugs, amlodipine's effects can be either intensified or weakened. For instance, certain antibiotics or antifungal medications can increase the level of amlodipine in your body, enhancing the possibility of side effects. On the other hand, drugs like St. John's wort can decrease amlodipine's effectiveness, potentially leading to uncontrolled blood pressure levels. However, it's essential to remember that not everyone taking amlodipine will experience side effects. Some people might have a smooth sail with the drug, while others may not. It's a game of genes, lifestyle, and as we discussed, individual factors like age, health status, and other medications. So, is there a way to stop or reduce these side effects? Let's find out. 
The key to managing amlodipine's side effects lies in a combination of medical and lifestyle interventions. Now, let's dive into some of these strategies. First on our list is dose adjustment. Amlodipine is often started at a low dose, which is then gradually increased by your healthcare provider until it reaches a level that effectively manages your blood pressure without causing excessive side effects. If you're experiencing side effects that are troublesome or persistent, it may be that your current dose is too high. In such cases, your healthcare provider may decide to lower your dose. However, this should always be done under the guidance and supervision of a healthcare professional. Next up is an alternative approach, switching to a different medication. If amlodipine is not agreeing with your system, there are other medications available that can effectively manage high blood pressure with potentially fewer or different side effects. These alternatives can range from different types of calcium channel blockers to other classes of blood pressure medications. Yet again, this is a decision that should be made in consultation with your healthcare provider who will take into account your specific health needs and circumstances. Now, let's delve into lifestyle interventions. These are changes you can make in your day-to-day -day life that can help mitigate the side effects of amlodipine. A balanced diet, for instance, plays a crucial role. Consuming a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins can support overall health and help your body better cope with medication side effects. Additionally, limiting your intake of sodium and alcohol can help control high blood pressure, potentially reducing the dose of amlodipine needed. Regular exercise is another key lifestyle intervention. Physical activity can help lower blood pressure, improve heart health, and alleviate some of the side effects associated with amlodipine, such as edema or swelling. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week, but remember to start slow, especially if you're new to exercise, and gradually increase your activity level. Lastly, let's not forget the importance of good hydration. Drinking plenty of water can help flush out the system and reduce the risk of dehydration, which can sometimes exacerbate side effects like dizziness and fatigue. Before we wrap up, let's emphasize once again the importance of working with a healthcare provider to manage side effects effectively. Remember, all these strategies should be implemented in consultation with your healthcare provider who can provide guidance based on your specific health needs and circumstances. Remember, never adjust your medication without consulting your healthcare provider. Your journey to better health is a team effort and your healthcare provider is an invaluable part of that team. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep the conversation with your healthcare provider open and ongoing. So, we've learned a lot about amlodipine and its side effects today. We've taken a deep dive into the world of amlodipine, a calcium channel blocker widely used in the management of high blood pressure and angina. It's important to remember that while this medication plays a crucial role in controlling these conditions, it can also come with a host of side effects. These can range from mild ones like swelling in your ankles or feet to more severe ones like a racing heart or chest pain. We've also uncovered how our bodies react to amlodipine. Just as each of us is unique, so too are our body's responses to medications. Some may experience only the slightest discomfort, while others may find the side effects more challenging. But remember, it's not about suffering in silence. It's about understanding what's happening in your body and taking the necessary steps to manage these side effects. We've explored various strategies to counteract the side effects of amlodipine. These included lifestyle modifications, like maintaining a balanced diet, engaging in regular exercise, and limiting salt and alcohol intake. We also discussed the importance of regular checkups with your healthcare provider to monitor your body's response to the medication and adjust dosages if necessary. But perhaps the most crucial point to remember is the role of your healthcare provider in managing these side effects. Never attempt to stop taking amlodipine without first consulting your doctor. They can guide you through the process, adjusting your dosage, or switching you to a different medication if needed. Our discussion today underscores the importance of understanding the medications we take. With knowledge comes empowerment. 
The more informed we are about what we put into our bodies, the better we can manage any potential side effects and maintain our overall health. So let's make a pact. Let's commit to staying informed about our health, understanding the medications we take, and working closely with our healthcare providers to manage any side effects. Remember, it's not just about popping a pill and hoping for the best. It's about taking control of your health, understanding the impacts of your medication, and making informed decisions in collaboration with your healthcare provider. Stay informed, stay healthy, and remember, your health is in your hands.